Hey guys! So I asked you in my last DIY from Cases video if you wanted to see more of them and all of you said yes. So today I'm going to show you more DIY from Cases ideas. Mm, five of them are with the same phone case and the last one is just a little extra that I wanted to show you. And if you are new to my channel, hi, 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 I am Sue, welcome to the channel and don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this. So that's all, let's start! For every phone case you will of course need a clear phone case that fits your phone and for the first design, which is the Harry Potter one, you trace the outline of the phone case on a piece of paper so you know where to draw and just cut it out or you can cut it later, that's okay. And start drawing your design. You can search for inspiration online or just use your imagination and have fun with it and then color the inside of the lines with crayons. You can draw Harry or Ron or Hermione Hermione, that sounds super weird to me because in Spanish we call her Hermione. But yeah, and then as you can see I went over the pencil lines with a sharpie. Finally, just cut the top part and put it on your phone. So I love how it turned out, I think it looks super cute. And yeah, let's ignore the fact that I'm a Ravenclaw right now, okay? Okay. For the second design you will need this plastic template that I show you how to make in my other phone cases video but basically just take a plastic sleeve, trace your phone case and cut it out. And you will get the perfect canvas for a transparent phone case. For this one I wrote slay with a sharpie and then make the letters a little bit thicker and stuff. And on the other side of the template just paint little strokes with some acrylic paint. This is very similar to the flamingo case that I made in my last video. So as you can see there are tons of different designs that you can make using this kind of technique. And in my opinion they all look really really cute. Okay so for the next one you will need to print a pic of any character you want. I chose Alice in Wonderland. I thought it would look good in this design. But yeah, just cut the picture and then take a piece of some holographic paper. This one I found at my local craft store and it's actually super super cool. But just glue the pic to the paper and make sure that it will fit on your phone. Um, I made this so it just covers the middle part of the phone case. But you can make it cover the whole thing or you know, make any design you want. The next design is one of my favorites and you will need to print out any picture. I chose these leaves and just make sure the picture is slightly bigger than your phone case so you can trace it out. Don't forget the camera hole and cut it out. You can leave this like this but I found this super cool like metallic sticker paper in my craft store so I drew a triangle like this and then stick it to the top part of the other paper. I also cut the camera hole in the metallic paper and that's it. I really really like how this turned out, I think it looks very like tumblery. <laughs> I love this metallic paper, I've also used it for my base and my glow. I might be a little bit obsessed but that's okay. Yeah. And for the last design just bring this super cute giraffe picture and make sure it has the size of your phone. Carefully cut it out and glue it to a plastic template like the one we used before. And as you can see the neck blocks the camera hole so just cut that out and that's it. And here it is, the extra phone case. I can't really call this a DIY but I was going to do it anyway for myself and I thought hey I might as well show it to you guys just as an idea. But the thing is that you can buy on eBay for really cheap these charms to glue on your phone. I thought the chain was a little bit too long so I used some pliers to cut it shorter. And then I just glued it to my clear phone case. The charm is like one dollar and as you glue it to the phone case it fits for any phone so I thought this was an adorable and a great idea. So that was it, I hope you liked the video and thumbs up the video if you wanna see and thumbs up this video if you wanna see more videos like this. Also let me know in the comments which kind of videos you would want to see next and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Thanks for watching, bye!